What's up guys, Daniel and Duke here once again and in this video I'm diving deep into an active campaign review. I'm going to show you the ins and outs of this platform, all the features, the customer support and really what it brings to the table, what it allows you to do and where it falls short. And down below in the description, you can click on a link to get a 14 day free trial, no credit card required. And before I jump in, I just want to let you know that Active Campaign is my email marketing service of choice, and it's what I use on any project that I actually care about. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and let's dive into the Active Campaign review. So Active Campaign is an investor funded email marketing platform founded in 2003 and has grown to over a hundred thousand customers. It has features that allow sales teams, marketing teams, and even customer service teams to collaborate, engage, and convert customers all from a single platform. Now in this review, I'm going to show you why I switched from my initial email marketing service. I'm with Active Campaign, and I have no intentions of going anywhere else because it's serving me well and has been doing so for years. Now let's start with the features. Now, Active Campaign does a lot of things really well. First and foremost, you have email reports that you can slice and dice in multiple ways. And then from there, you have a CRM, a client relationship management system that allows you to engage with contacts on a deeper level as opposed to just sending out email blasts every week or twice a week, whatever the case may be. And this is ideal for sales teams. In addition to that, it has SMS. So while you're sending emails, you can also send SMSs to improve the efficacy of those campaigns that you're sending out. Now, there are two features of Active Campaign that I basically can't live without. That's tagging and segmentation. Now, tagging is when you append a, well, a tag or a note to someone, but the tag is special because it allows you to change how you send emails to them. For example, you can tag someone who has opened emails related to candles three times. You can tag them candle lover and then send more emails related to candles to those people and increase your conversions that way. Or if they have a, a, a collection of tags, you can decide to segment them into certain lists or certain groups and send specific emails to them. So Active Campaign really gets powerful once you start using this tagging and segmenting features. And both the segments and the tags can be used as automation triggers. Now. I'll get to automations later in this review and show you what automations look like in Active Campaign, but just trust me when I say that it becomes really, really powerful and it can get pretty sophisticated if you take the time to really set up these automations properly. So, anyways, tags can be used as automation triggers, and there are so many different automation triggers you can choose from, like behavior, site behavior, email opens, emails that they didn't open, etc. etc. It also has site tracking, which ties into behavioral triggers for your automation. So you can put a script on your website and you can actually track how people are using your website. Maybe they visit a certain web page like three or four times. And because of that, you want to trigger an email related to that specific web page. In addition to the site tracking, you can pair it with conditional content so that someone who visited this page and has other factors tied to their contact record in active campaign, you can actually change the content of the message to be tailored to them. It also recently introduced landing pages. So that becomes really useful when you want to generate leads. Although the landing pages are still in their infancy, so I wouldn't recommend them over a dedicated landing page builder like Unbounce or Lead Pages, etc. But if you need to get landing pages and you don't have the budget to get another tool, then active campaign landing pages are more than enough to, you know, get those initial conversions. And another powerful feature is lead scoring. Now, let me give you an example of how lead scoring works. Let's say someone just signed up for your mailing list. You might give them a score of 10 for signing up and then they open your welcome email. You might give them another 10 points and then they click on the link in your welcome email. You might give them 20 points and then the next email they ignore. which saves time for your sales team if you have one or saves time for you personally if you're doing personalized outreach for your best customers. They also have 
forms like pop-up forms but i'd recommend staying away from them instead i'd go with kylie's shameless plug but the the forms aren't that robust they're basic they have them but i wouldn't recommend them i can't honestly recommend them but what i can recommend is the a b testing feature active campaign allows you to a b test basically anything you want the subject line the body copy etc and if you put two messages against each other, you can go until maybe 100 people have seen each message and you try to figure out the best open rate or you try to figure out the best click through rate. And then the one that passes that is the one you work with. And an active campaign can actually choose automatically. You can set it to where after 300 people have seen these messages, choose the one with the best open rate or choose the best one with the best click through rate. Or you can do it manually. It's your call here. And then active campaign has two other features that I, I really like. Now, I want you to know that these features that I'm naming and then I'm going through and I'm kind of explaining, I'm just scratching the surface of what active campaign can actually do it's a really robust tool so those features are on-site messaging and website personalization now everything here is geared towards improving the customer experience and a lot of it can be automated which is why active campaign is calling itself the first customer experience automation platform with a hundred thousand customers and a hundred million dollars a year in revenue i think they're on to something now let's take a closer look at the active campaign automation so here i have just a simple active campaign automation that i built within like five minutes as you can see here there's an automation trigger and you have so many different options subscribe to a list unsubscribe submit a form event is recorded web page is visited replies to an email forwards an email shares an email adds a tag removes the tag Goal is achieved. It can be based on the date. I mean, there are so many different options here to trigger an automation. And then once you trigger an automation, there you can do multiple things, right? You can send an email, send an SMS, or send a notification email to someone on your team, like a sales team, or you can wait. You can do if then conditions, split it as in an A-B test, go jump to another action i mean there are so many different things you can start other automations you can end other automations you can end the automation that they're in now you can integrate with other apps so there are a lot of things that you can do within an automation and active campaign and it gets really nuanced and detailed and powerful so let me just show you an example so if i want to if else right so if somebody has clicked on the link on any campaign or the welcome campaign then then i choose the link then i'll add that condition so the condition has been added now if people actually fit into that condition then and yes then they go on this branch if no i can create an entirely new branch maybe i want to resend the email or maybe i want to do something else and that's where the power of active campaign comes from i can even come from here then after I do this, I can actually now go back and I can skip an email and start them on another path within the automation. It gets really powerful. I'm just scratching the surface of what automations in active campaign can really do. Another important aspect of any email marketing service on the integration is an active campaign has a boatload, a ton, a shitload, however you want to quantify it. Active campaign has dozens or probably even hundreds of integrations inside of their integration ecosystem. They're across different categories like accounting, analytics, CMS, database, e-commerce, event management, forms, etc. And of course you have the popular ones like Facebook, Google Analytics, Shopify, WordPress, and then you have a bit more obscure ones like Meatfox and really it's based on what you're looking for and then they also have an open api for developers so even if there's not a direct integration you can create one yourself via the api or via webhooks depending on the platforms that you're using so as far as integration is concerned you're really covering with active campaign now when it comes to ease of use i'll be the first to tell you active campaign isn't always the easiest tool to use that's because it's so powerful it has so many different features that there is a learning curve as far as sending out emails and like the menu options they're clearly labeled but that's only the tip of the iceberg like here add a new trigger or something like conditional logic if this happens then this happens then this happens it can get confusing especially if you're new to the whole email marketing automation conditional logic personalization and all of those things so i would recommend you take it nice and slow but active campaign does have a lot of resources both webinars and tutorials etc that will really show you how to use the platform how to make the most of it with that being said 
you should be prepared to dedicate time to learning how to use Active Campaign properly. Let's take a look at the help and support. Active Campaign has multiple ways that you can contact them. There's email, live chat, and phone support. Now, other people need more hand-holding and things of that nature, but they do have robust knowledge-based documents that can really solve most use cases for you without having to reach out to support, which is something I appreciate. Now, let's look at pricing. How much does this bad boy cost? Surprisingly, Active Campaign starts at just $9 a month. There is no free tier, but you get a lot of power for that $9 a month. You get access to marketing automation. You get access to the newsletter builder. You get access to reports. You get access to tagging. You get access to basic segmentation, list management, content management, and then contact records, site and event tracking. So it's actually very generous for its initial plans. But it's from the professional plan that you really, really start to get the customer experience and machine learning areas that Active Campaign excels in. But I do understand that forty one hundred and twenty nine dollars a month is a lot for most people. So I'd recommend starting with either the plus or the professional plan because from the plus you start getting conditional logic and conditional content, which really takes your content or your email marketing to the next level. So what do I think about Active Campaign and what it brings to the table? I believe that when it comes to email marketing, Active Campaign is the best thing since sliced bread. If you have the budget for it, then please go and get Active Campaign and you will never look back. Make sure you click the link in the description to start your free trial, no credit card required. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you in my next video.